this is something I want to talk about, about Howard Miller clocks and Kyniger mechanisms, specifically in regards to the user manual. A lot of times when I go on site, people will see me set the time forward on the clock, set the correct time or check the chimes, check what hour is being struck. People will turn white as a ghost when they see me moving the hands forward because it says specifically in the Howard Miller manual, you cannot turn the hands forward. You actually can turn the hands forward. If you move the hand to the quarter hour and wait for the clock to start chiming and wait patiently for it to finish. Since most people are incapable of being patient and having to sit here for an entire 15 seconds, some people have apparently broken the warning pin, probably on the chime side, on their clock by moving the hands forward. This is a, this is a clock hand. This is not a, a propeller. Okay. It's, this isn't a race. I know we're all pressed for time. Everybody's got important stuff to do. Um, if you move the hands forward and you wait for the clock to finish chiming, you're not going to cause any kind of damage. Now, that being said, if you somehow move the hands forward and, and you booger up your mechanism, well, I, I can't really help you there. That's, uh, I'm not going to be liable for you breaking your clock and voiding the warranty. If you want to turn the hands backwards, you can turn it backwards and, and you can treat it like it's propeller. Because again, everybody's pressed for time and we all have so many very important things to do. Um, so if you're a busy person like I am and you're trying to set the time forward, if you follow the manual instructions, you can turn the minute hand backwards. You'll notice the clock isn't trying to chime when I move the hands backwards. Now when I move the hands forward, which, I mean, you're going to have to move the hand forward if you're wanting to reset the chimes. You'll, you'll notice this thing has not um, spontaneously combusted. Um, I didn't hear any airplanes crash outside the house. Um, I don't think my neighbor died or anything. As you can see, you actually can move the hands forward without causing any kind of issue. If... Two conditions. You're gentle, number one, and number two, you're patient, which I know is very difficult for a lot of people to do, to be either A, gentle, or B, patient. See? Moving the hands forwards. Now, here's an interesting scenario. Now, we move the hands backwards like a propeller, as per the recommendations of Howard Miller in their factory manual. And let's say... Again, I'm a very, very busy person with very important things. The guys at the country club can't wait for me. I've got to set the time on this. I've got an oil change scheduled at 2. Dinner date at 7. I don't have time to sit here and be gentle. Moving hands backwards arbitrarily. See, uh, the last chime that we had was the third quarter chime. Now the next chime is going to want to be... The, uh, the top of the hour chime. But as you'll notice, this mechanism will withhold. Holding the chime, you hear the click. Of course, when the face is on here, you won't be able to see these levers moving and not doing anything. But you'll see the click. You'll hear the click. And then once that minute hand gets back up to the top of the hour, the chimes are now back in synchronization. If you ever take your hands off for whatever bizarre reason um, you choose to do so, I guess maybe you felt the mechanism was thirsty and needed to drink a half gallon of WD-40 or something. Um, when you take the hands off the clock, waiting for the top of the hour chime is the only way that you're going to figure out what the proper location of the hands is. It's only going to chop chime the uh, full hour chime at the, the top of the hour. So when the hand is, well here, let me just take this off. And uh, well, you already know it was up top, but let's say just, I, I've had a senior moment here. Um, I'm going to put the hand here. 
Um, and again, because I'm a very busy person, I'm just going to propel the hands around just to really kind of show my um, show my behind here. All right, now we're doing the half hour chime right now, and of course you can see the minute hand is at the three quarters position. So we're going to try to figure out where does this hand go. Okay, now it's at the top of the hour. Now it's doing the three quarter hour chime. It's kind of like a shell game. If you pay attention carefully, I'll teach you the secret to lining up a hand on a self-sequencing Westminster chime mechanism. Okay, now... Oh, the clock is chiming the full one hour chime. So it's all four quarters, and that's going to count the hour afterwards. But the hand's pointing to the 50... Well, I took the hand off, so I screwed it up here from the factory setting. Now... And take this. I know this is at the top of the hour now. So it's only going to chime the full four quarters and count the hour with the minute hand. It, as long as everything is set up the way it's supposed to be. If you took this thing apart and screwed around with it, well, best of luck with you. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Call a priest or something. All right. I was grabbing a hand. I didn't pay attention. That just counted the hour. Here's another insider secret right here. Um, well, of course, here, we'll go through the chimes. I don't want to go over anybody's head here. All right, first quarter, half hour. This is really exciting. This is probably the best part of YouTube. Unboxing videos, memes, vines. They can all uh, they can all take a back seat. Learning how to sequence a set of clock hands on a Howard Miller Kininger mechanism. This is where it's at. If you're too school for cool, you're probably watching this video right now. You can thank me later. I'll say you're welcome in advance. All right. If you have attention deficit, this is going to be one of the hardest parts to uh, to cope with. We've got the chime running. Man, this mechanism is uh, not a beast. All right, let's count. One. Two. Three. Four, five, seis, and that's been your seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Very good. If you could follow me, you can count to eleven, which is a big thing. Congratulations, you uh, you're able to count at a uh, was that a first grade level? How do they teach kids to count? All right, I'm going to set this hour hand on here. Now, of course, you can't see a face. You can't see any numbers. 12 is easiest to set to when you have no face on the clock. Face or dial. Numbers. Whatever your preferred term is here. Now, the reason I'd set this hand... This is like a, a bookmark. The, uh, I'm going to pull this minute hand off here again. This is going to be a moment. Um... Whatever the clock strikes is what this snail, this is a snail, this is a rack, rack and snail, strike assembly. So whatever the clock strikes, it, it's mechanically set to this. Okay, I, it, There's no way, it, it's counting 11. Well, let me go ahead and set it to 3 o'clock. No, no, you, you didn't move, you just move the hand. See, I can move it to 6, I can move it to, to but it, it's still... It's still 11 o'clock, according to the mechanism. But w what if it's 9? Well, if it's 9, it, it, it's still 11, mechanically speaking. So th this is really arbitrary. This is wherever you want to set it to. 
I don't know, maybe you're mentally insane. You want to um, point to 12 and count to. Um, so if the clock strikes 12 times, then then I, I guess move the hour hand on there to 2 o'clock just because that's uh, something exciting in your unmedicated world. I, I really don't know. Um, what we're going to do here, I don't think we're on the first quarter. Three quarters. All right. Just to make things easy and simple. I'm going to pull this minute hand off. We're doing the full four quarters, top of the hour chime. It's going to strike 12, but we'll wait. I don't want to spoil the surprise here for everybody. And 11 and 12. The magic number is 12. So since we took our medication this morning, we're going to go ahead and uh, try to reflect reality as best as possible. Not making any jokes about mental health people. If you've been prescribed meds from your doctor, I suggest you take them. Somebody who suffers from situational depression, I haven't prescribed some meds to uh, make me so happy, which is great. Because now when I'm setting hands on a Howard Miller Kininger uh, Westminster Chime Clock mechanism, uh, I feel like I'm living the dream. It doesn't get any better than this, folks. Brought to you by Pfizer. Thank you, Pfizer. Where would we be without you? Probably in the same spot, setting clock hands, just with a much larger tinge of depression. All right, so we set the hand at 12. We've moved the hands. We've advanced it forward. We've broken the, the laws of space, time, and physics. We've violated our Howard Miller factory warranty. As you can see, the clock's about to strike one time. Or one o'clock. Cool. If you can count to number one, you'll really enjoy that last part there. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope to clear up some of the um, misconceptions about setting the hands. But again, if you move your hands forward and you somehow set your clock on fire, don't don't call or send me an email, please. Okay. Um, you probably shouldn't touch the clock at all if stuff like that happens to you. Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this helped somebody out. Um, maybe it didn't help anybody out. Maybe uh, maybe I've actually knocked somebody back um, in their skill set, and uh, I apologize in advance for that. Um, that one random guy who somehow ended up setting his Howard Miller clock on fire. Um, I hope you and your family are okay. I'll be praying for you. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please uh, feel free to leave any kind of message if you have any questions. Like and subscribe, like we're always supposed to say in YouTube videos, right? I need those likes and those subscriptions. If you don't, the terrorist will win. Thanks for watching.